Catherine Eddowes, who was arrested for drunkenness earlier that night, was released from prison around the same time that the body of Elizabeth Stride was discovered. Three witnesses returning home from the Imperial Club in London believe they saw Catherine that night. They testify that they saw her with a man around 30 years old, of average height, and a medium build at 1.30 a.m. However, this was not enough to reveal the identity of Jack the Ripper. Alaska, 1898. In the midst of a rush for gold, one man got more than he bargained for. In the middle of an untamed wilderness, cut off from civilization by land, water, and predators unknown, no one is there to hear you scream. Based on a true account, this man learned that there is no fortune in finding gold if you don't survive to share it. Coming to theaters this fall. I'm not saying I'm God or anything, but Jesus, you'd be nowhere without me. I taught you everything you know, so your successes are my successes, and my successes are also my successes, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, being exceptionally intelligent isn't easy, but someone has to be. Do not stand before me like we are some kind of even match. No amount of confidence or any level of delusion is enough to make that true. I'll tell you again, no, I will not open the gates to the nether realm for such a puny being. Come back to me when you're all grown up. There's nothing to be afraid of here. It's just a dark, empty closet in the space between dreams where our happy thoughts transition to nightmares. That's where you'll find me. Some call me the Boogeyman, but that is inaccurate. I'm merely the thoughts and bad deeds of evil men. Behind every triumph, behind your happiest moments, I'll be waiting. Search your soul and see, is there space for darkness? Then there's space for me. You have the right to remain silent! Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of blah, blah. Just keep it shut for both our sakes. I am not ready to deal with this crap. I am very hungover. So do us both a favor and come quietly. Very quietly. My head is splitting Jesus. Yeah, you're going to prison. So just do that, okay? Can you do that, please? Won't you try your luck on the Wheel of Fortune, sir? We had at the carnival. Just give the wheel a spin and you could win a prize. Yeah, good job. Oh, a word of warning, sir. Not all prizes are favorable. It could be cash, a pie to the face, sudden death, etc. And the prize is... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Probably for the best, sir. No, you can't enter the underworld. You're alive. It's one of the most important details. You've got to die before you can go to hell. That's kind of how it works. Why do you want in anyways? People don't usually ask. They're usually screaming, Oh, God, no, help me, please. It's so tiring. Actually, you know what? It's about time I got some recognition. I've never met a fan before. You better let me out of this bank here, Cowboy Joe, and with the money, too. Why? Well, I got 10 sticks of TNT that'll make everybody's head hurt real bad if you don't. Come on, you wanna be the good guy, right? Then hop back on your horsey and trot off someplace else. Cause right now, I'm leaving with this money and there ain't a darn tootin' thing you can do about it. Now step aside. 